Okay, so let's now get to some examples on this financial mathematics business. Okay, first of all, which investment is better? 2,500 Rand invested at 15% compound interest over four years, or 2,500 invested at 18% simple interest over four years? Okay, so we are going to take those two separately. So let's start with A. A is talking about compound interest. And as always, we start with a formula. Our formula for compound interest is that my future value is equal to my present value multiplied by 1 plus i to the power of n. Do I know now my stock taking? Okay, so let's write it here, stock take. Do I know what my future value is? No, I don't. Do I know what my present value is? That's the amount I invested originally. Yes, 2,500 Rand was invested originally. Do we know what my interest rate is? Yes, 15%. Very important. 15 over 100. Not 15. 15 divided by 100. Percentage means to divide with 100. Cool. And finally, do we know N? Okay, N very often people think n represents time it doesn't it rep represents times okay over four years i get 15 percent interest every year okay which means i get it four times so it looks like it's the number of years but it actually represents the number of times i get interest so now we can substitute all of this into our formula and uh, we find 2500 1 plus 15 over 100 to the power of 4 equals, so let's go and work that out using our calculator 2500 times and then in brackets 1 plus 15 over 100 close the bracket to the power of 4 gives us 4372 so we get 4372 and 52 cents comma 52 cents this is how much I will have in my bank account if it's invested in a bank account, if I was earning 15% interest over four years. If it's compound interest, of course. Okay, so let's look at investment B. So investment B was telling us that we're working with simple interest. So again, we just start with the formula. Simple interest formula says future value is equal to my present value 1 plus, and this is where the difference come in, I have I multiplied by N instead of having the bracket to the power of N. Okay, so now let's just do our stock taking. Stock take. That's just where we see what we have for our formula. So, for example, the future value we are working out. We don't have that yet. Okay, my present value, that's the amount I invest originally and they told me I invested 2,500 okay. my interest that's the rate at which my money is going to grow and here they're telling me 18 percent nice I'm earning a bit more interest in this one 18 percent which is 18 over 100 never forget the percent means divide by 100 and finally what is my N represents the number of times I will get interest. This is 18%. I should have put here per annum. 18% per annum and there per annum. Okay, forgive me that I didn't. But it's 18% per annum for four annums. Okay, for four years. So I get it four times. Because I get it once a year for four years. Okay, so it's not that difficult. So let's substitute what we do have. We have 2,500 Rand in the place of my present value. 1 plus in the place of I we have 18 over 100 
and in the place of n we have 4 and if I were to use my calculator to calculate this one we get 2500 times and now in my bracket 1 plus in another bracket 18 over 100 close that bracket multiplied by and in my final bracket 4 close my whole bracket and if I calculate this whole business I get 4,300 4,300 rand exactly oh look how close that is but if you were an investor if you had to choose which was the best option you would most definitely choose option A so that was the question which is the better option while well, they're the same amount of years different interest and even though the compound interest is less it's only 15 percent that's less than the 18 percent the value that we have after four years is larger than we, the value we would have for simple interest and why is that again remember because your interest is earning interest your interest also earns interest that is why so here we only have our original amount earning interest okay so with that in mind option a option or invest investment a is the better option cool I hope that illustrated the difference for you and that actually in the long run Compound interest will always be better than simple interest.